So gallbladder polyps are little fleshy lumps inside the gallbladder. Um, they are usually asymptomatic. That means they don't cause symptoms. And if a patient comes to the clinic with good, uh, good going right-sided abdominal pain that comes and goes in waves and is associated with fatty foods, my first thoughts are that actually it's not a polyp and it's a small stone. And the reason for that is small stones that are less than five millimeters are not very dense and they can sometimes get stuck in the abdominal, uh, in the gallbladder wall um, mucosa and they can mimic uh, a polyp. So polyps are, are really small fleshy lumps. As they get bigger, they are, they are differentiated from um, stones but they are not usually uh, things that cause symptoms. So when they're small, um, patients don't get any symptoms at all. Um, as they get bigger and if they are close to the mouth of the gallbladder, they can sometimes feel a pressure in the right side of the tummy, like an ache that doesn't really go away. When they are uh, small and patients have really sharp pains, then we often think whether there's actually stones there, not gallbladder polyps. So gallbladder polyps usually don't cause your symptoms unless they get very big and block the gallbladder. So we don't know why people call, uh, um, form gallbladder polyps. They're really common um, and 95% of them uh, don't cause any problems, don't really grow, and we never do anything with them. Some of them, however, grow really slowly. And one of the things that we do as surgeons is we advise patients whether they need surveillance of their gallbladder polyps. And when gallbladder polyps grow quickly, we usually want to take the gallbladder out to make sure that they are not turning cancerous. And when gallbladder polyps get very big, then there is a small risk uh, of cancer. And I'll talk about that later on. So gallbladder polyps can uh, turn cancerous, but we don't really have a high risk of that until they are more than 10 millimeters. Now the risk is about one in a hundred thousand. So it's not very common but it's often very anxiety provoking. And I think if a patient is worried um, about their gallbladder polyps, they should absolutely come and see a surgeon and we will survey it and we'll advise them if they need to have uh, this removed. Usually if you're over 50, if you have uh, any medical conditions like primary biliary cirrhosis or primary sclerosing cholangitis, or if you've had a family history of gallbladder cancer uh, and you've got polyps, then we would normally advise that we remove these once they are bigger than six millimeters. So gallbladder polyps uh, are only treated with surgery. So if they are small, we would normally advise that we survey them with ultrasounds, usually every, every year. If they are growing quickly, we do it every six months. And if they are over 10 millimeters, we would normally advise surgery to remove the whole gallbladder. And that's keyhole surgery under a general anesthetic. Um, and it's four little holes where we remove the gallbladder in its entirety with the polyp. And that gets sent uh, to the histology lab for analysis. And usually it just confirms a benign polyp.